Hey everybody, uh, this is Walter Requiem, and welcome back to my Let's Play of System Shock 2. So last time, we completed the entirety deck, the entirety of the operations deck, and now it seems like our next deck is deck 6, which is command. So, we are going to be on our merry way to actually go that far and to get there. This is, now I have to say, this is actually the final stretch of the game, so we don't have too much of the game left, but there's enough to still be quite interesting. So, before we actually get that, we actually go there, I'd like to, once again, oh my goodness, bro, really? I'd like to, once again, recharge all my stuff, just so I don't have to deal with it later. There's just a demo of the EMP rifle. The overcharge mode is actually quite powerful, but it takes quite a bit of charge as well. The normal mode is probably the most efficient mode, but at the same time, uh, hopefully we get to the point where you can fire off the uh, overcharge mode like it's nothing. Of course, we aren't actually going to get that far until we actually have some targets used against our turrets, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and make our way there. Right, so, now that we have pretty much our full arsenal, um, I don't know if I'm going to be using the final tier exotic weapon this playthrough, to be honest. It's never been a weapon that I've actually used, I will be completely honest. Like, I've messed around with it, like with conflict mines, but I've never actually seriously used it. It's a pretty serious investment for something that's not terribly amazing. Wow. I just managed to blow through my entire EMP rifle charge, but that was a fairly easy com like piece of combat right there. This thing is quite powerful. As one might expect for the top tier energy weapon. My creation has run rampant. I demand their extermination. I have no choice. But to destroy this starship. But you must transfer my my, my intelligence to that ship first. You proceed to the Von Bronze Bridge on this deck. There you will find an access card to Command Center on Ops. Find the card and proceed to Ops. But beware, the human amulet hybrids grow more sophisticated by the minute. You do not. So. You have wounded Circus. Oh. But we will not allow him to be destroyed. See if the Machine Mother treats her servants with such devotion. You know. As much as a threat that is, I can't help but feel like it's kind of sweet that the many looks out for Xerxes even though he's, you know, a machine and they don't seem to very, be very fond of, you know, machines. I don't know. Like, really when you think about it, yeah, the many are kind of a ter terrifying concept, but at the same time, I don't know. Like, I guess when you're a hive mind, that seeks to include everybody. Like, you have to have some kind of sense of empathy for things that aren't like you. It seems weird. I see, I sound like I'm being like an apologist for the many, and I'm not. But I don't know. I just find their characterization to be quite fascinating. Anyway, so we just have some various things to be scattered around here on this deck. And fun fact about um, Command, it seems to be one of the first decks that was ever really fleshed out for this game. If you go back and you look at the um, beta footage that exists for System Shock 2, there's quite a lot of footage of the early version of Command. The Machine Mother told us of the planet of her birth. We know how you have harmed this place with your pollution your violence. and your discord. But when we arrive there, we will cleanse the surface of that place. And 
Right, so... Obviously, the many wants to make it to Earth. If cringe can audio log from Reckless anything to go by and just assimilate everybody on Earth. Quite a terrifying concept, but hopefully we can put a stop to that soon. Palito indicated that the AI who now appeared to be shot was actually going to... Hmm. Sounds like Delacar's audio logs are failing here. Maybe she needs to get a new phone or something. Oh, really? Son of a bitch. I said they're trying my hardest to not get bugged. Oh god. Oh god. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, the flies in this game are just not very fun. Also, fun fact. I realized uh, playing through this game a couple of... Uh, ooh. Uh, months back that there is actually a item up there that I ever, never knew about. It's one of the um, uh, syringes that we can get for the midwife that we're still trying to currently research. That I don't know if we're actually going to finish this because I keep forgetting about it, but I will try my best to have them research by the end of this playthrough. And it seems like we have another audio log to listen to, so I'll go ahead and listen to that. I hope you're still alive, Miss Delacroix. I really could use some guidance up here. They've got those lady cyborgs of theirs loading up the shuttles with those eggs. I don't know what their plan is, but it looks like they're running scared. I hear rumors of someone else besides you fighting back. Should I even hope to get out of this? I'm just gonna hang back until I figure out what the hell to do. Right, so a couple of things about him. First of all, that's McKay, and... Uh, he shares a portrait with uh, Malone from uh, the engineering deck. So he was the other one I was referring to, and I was talking about how Wood in the original game shares his portrait with another one. Without mods, that is. Second, um... I don't know. Something about Malone... Uh, not Malone's. Uh, see, it's already happening to me. But something about McKay's mannerisms to me kind of strikes me as, um... Sad, in a way. Uh, the way he refers to Miss Delacroix, Delacroix as Miss, to me, seems like he's either just a really polite dude or he's a young kid. So... Just more further evidence, I think, of the people on this ship not even really being mostly military personnel or even really high-level trial people, but just normal people who got sucked into a situation that they could never have been prepared for. I've located you, finally. This is Dr. Marie Delacroix. What? I have vital information for you, but I'm trapped in Cargo Bay A. Come find me as soon as you can. Right, so it seems like for the first time in the game, someone besides uh, Shodan or Shodan and the guys of Polito is contacting us, and it's none other than Dr. Marie, Dr. Marie Delacroix herself. So, holy shit, we might actually get a chance to meet her. It seems like there are survivors even yet. Man, we have to make our way over there, but first, let's check out this little area. Oh, maybe we can't even get in here. What's in there? Move it, Tommy. What? Is this way. Holy shit. Tommy and Rebecca, they're still alive. Oh. Maybe not for long. Wait. Oh, God. Mm. I'll, I'll, I'll fuck him up for you guys. Wait, wait, wait up for me. Wait, wait. Oh, fuck. So, yeah. People are still alive on the Bombron. Both Delacroix and, um... Uh, Tommy and Rebecca are alive. Also, that cutscene type thing is kind of hilarious because both Tommy and Rebecca and that rumbler came out from the single room. Were they just sitting there chilling with a fucking cup of coffee before they decided... Okay, so no, here's what must have happened, right? Maybe they fucking spilt the co their coffee on the fucking rumbler's, like, sandwich or something and now he's all pissed. Freaking hell. And there was apparently a worm in there, too, so... I don't know. That's just a, that's such a silly fucking concept to me. I kind of love it. Anyway, the data gathering process is going well. Before I'm taken by the many, I will hopefully transmit a fair bit of information to whoever will listen. The large floating creatures are not only capable of attacking with powerful psi projections, but are psi projections themselves, destroying them only temporarily to save them. The real source of power comes from a small control organism. Which is usually located somewhere near 
by. Although this control organism is quite powerful through its projections, it's imminently vulnerable once rooted out. Right, so... That was probably one of my favorite characters in the game, and certainly one of the most interesting ones. And that was uh, Dr. Prefontaine. Now, uh, spoilers, I actually have a video of some of his most fascinating audio logs on my channel. Um, check it out if you want a little preview of what's to come, but really just more than any other set of logs in this game, I think Prefontaines are just so masterfully done. He really goes into the actual science of how the many works and just the means he actually has to go through to gain that knowledge is quite, like, uh, humbling and really quite, to be quite honest, terrifying. I don't know. Just out of all the way different characters are characterized in System Shock 2, Prefontaine is probably one of the most well elaborated on. I just really adore his audio logs. It looks like we have another audio log, by the way, from our favorite man, Kerenchkin. Let's see what our, you know, K-Dog is up to. Uh. The Machine Mother has enlisted two avatars against us. They stand but they will fail against our unity. Does not the Machine Mother know her own creation is greater than she? She is cold and empty, and we are more there. Please make your selection. She seeks only to destroy. We seek to embrace, to include. All flesh will join ours, or be wiped clean. So, it seems as if Kerenchkin has gone off the deep end. As we can see, there's... He's turned into something that we haven't even seen yet. And he's just completely consumed by the many. I would assume Diego has not fared any better, unfortunately. Man. Whatever that was is quite terrifying. Well, here's a log from Diego. I guess we'll see what he's become. Maybe he's become like a rumbler or something. I am a soldier and a simple man. I cannot explain what has happened to me or this mission. I take complete responsibility. I brought danger to my ship, to my crew, to my honor. I cannot resist the changes that are happening to me. The call of the many is seductive. They got Kerechkin, but that bastard is weak. I am not weak. I can resist this cancer. And if I cannot, I will remove it forcibly. God save the UNN. Maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. It seems like Diego has been strong enough to resist the many to some extent, and... He really does not want them to have control over his ship. It seems like somehow this one man has been able to push back against the many to retain his individuality. That's quite chilling, especially in light of one of his decks from the uh, operations deck. Oh, I don't believe we picked up that log. God damn it, that's one of the best ones in the game. Well, on our way back to um, operations, which... Spoiler alert, we're going to have to make a detour there. I'll try to find it, because you guys deserve to see, hear it. And here's the other audio log that we picked up. Paranoia has struck. Somebody has changed the access codes of the security station in the office quarters, and now we can't get the key to shuttle control. I think Myers is the likely suspect. All that guy thinks about is conspiracy theories and naked girls. Wow, sounds like one of my co-workers. And yes, that is Norris. He is one of the major characters of the Operations deck. Uh, I guess we'll learn more about him soon. I think we have another audio log by him, actually. They've cut off the central elevator. What's going on? Last night I had the strangest dream. I was in my room by myself. But all of a sudden, there was not just me there, but a hundred me's. A thousand me's. The strange thing was, it felt good. I felt like I was part of something. I hope I have the same dream tonight. Norris, I think you've been playing a bit too much uh, freaking Meverse. I think you need to get off, get off of that. 
Or maybe he's been playing too much Trash Bros, and I guess the people have been playing too many fucking me characters or whatever. I don't know, man. Yeah, that's a, a fun fact about me. I do not like Super Smash Brothers, man. I just think it's such an overrated franchise. <laughs> Scott. Oh, man. I didn't think I would have that conversation until much later, but... I don't know. I guess there's some shit going on about the, the, the Smash community just being really toxic, and I don't want to shit on people for the things they enjoy, right? But just some part of me just thinks it's kind of, like, hilarious, because, like, I cannot go, like, five freaking feet without hearing somebody go, like, no, Smash! And then it's like, I don't know. I'm not trying to shit on the people that like it. For it being like a fun game or whatever, but freaking hell. This is kind of funny to imagine. Anyway, here's another audio log. I got an email from Kerenska this morning saying he was coming up for an inspection. And when he arrived, it was something revolting. It was kind of totally, but it wasn't. At the same time, it seemed beautiful, and I felt like part of it. He sang to us, all of us, and we felt like one of many. Right, so... We don't even really know the extent of Crunchkin's transformation other than that it was, to quote, Norris, revolting. Oh wow, this is lovely. Wow, they were just clustered in one single place for us to attack. So, it seems like there's some odd looking crate in there, a high security crate. And I guess we'll find out what that does soon enough, but we have a chemical storeroom to loot in the meantime. We have, finally, our molybdenum that we can use to research our rumbler organ here. What else can we find in here? It seems to be... I don't know, this is like the crew quarters for the command deck, and to me it's just... It seems kind of clunky, right? Like, I, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I probably wouldn't want to be sleeping in this room. The only thing that would, like, be keeping me company is this one freaking Westworld poster and this chair. It seems more like a fucking detention room than a fucking, um, like, bedroom. I mean, even this one is a little better. I mean, I don't blame this guy for, like, being dead. I mean, fucking hell. <laughs> Something is going on. Karenjkin has sealed himself off in deck three. He keeps calling for people to go down there one by one. Vogel, Boynton, Switterak, none of them will come back. They call for me. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And Bronson is starting to make a lot of noise. You're the senior flight officer. You have to act. But I knew what the hell was going on. Right, so Norris is yet again another high profile um, member of the Von Braun that seemed like he was targeted by the many, but probably specifically because of his status as the chief flight officer. Anyway, just take a minute to listen to that sound. Is that what people have been describing as when the many sings to them? Because, I mean, if that is, that's really terrifying. And it seems like we can research, we can finally read the status of the Rumbler organ. Summary. You've learned how to best target the Rumbler for maximal damage. All damage you will deal to rumber, Rumblers will be increased by 25%. Its analytic tissue is particularly vulnerable to incendiary devices. Analysis. This organism is a further evolution of the first stage analid hybrid. Discernible human elements are minimal above the DNA level. Muscle tissue density has increased 20-fold, and adrenaline production has increased proportionally. Brain tissue is extremely dense, which would normally indicate a, cre a creature of extreme cognitive ability, but the brainstem has atrophied to a useless stub, and there is no analog to a human spinal column. All muscular activity is controlled locally by alien cells designed for this purpose. It appears that this creature is an evolutionary stage between, a, er, uh, between an earlier stage human analid hybrid and a third unknown form. Recommendation. This creature is extremely dangerous, being, in effect, a heavily muscled host designed to, pr to protect a highly evolved yet unconnected brain. This peculiar chemistry of this hybrid's brain tissue indicates a latent psionic predis predisposition. So basically what that is, is the rumbler is a fucking Pokemon, right? So the hybrid is the fucking first stage evolution, the rumbler is the second stage evolution, and there's a third evolution that we have to be worried about. Holy fuck. 
I hope there's no Mega Evolution or fucking, like, Dynamax or whatever. And furthermore... Ooh, ow. Furthermore... The Rumbler is already fucking terrifying, right? It, that basically just makes it out to be a Roid Rage version of the hybrid. I don't want to know what that third stage is going to be like, right? Anyway, I just forgot we can actually throw it down. And I mean, seriously, it looks like a fucking fleshy porta potty. <laughs> I, I mean, the sound it makes that when it goes splat doesn't make any make it any better. Just I don't know, man. It kind of looks like a bird almost. I don't know, man. Rumblers have always terrified me in this game. Like I know everybody says the midwife is scary, and I fucking am terrified of like most of the enemies in this game. But just something about the Rumbler to me gets me more than any other enemy. I think it's just because the Rumbler is just a hideously contorted human figure. It's like not even really recognizable as human and yet clearly, I mean, some poor bastard had to get sucked into being one. And it's sort of like what I was talking about at the, about the thing in my last episode. Body horror really gets to me. Like, if you contort the human body to be, like, something that it's clearly not supposed to be, it just really gets to me. There's quite a lot of, like, <laughs> shit on the internet that makes me feel quite uncomfortable in that regard. Like, Jesus. Anyway. Let's just keep continuing. I guess we'll hopefully hopefully we won't find any more rumblers, but that's probably not gonna happen. So it seems like Myers was quite fond of naked ladies. Oh, here we go. Wow, that's some full-on boobage right there. <laughs> and sure enough. I am pleased. Transmitting cybernetic modules. Do not squander them. Man, that poor guy got plastered up there. And it seems like we have a log from Myers. I rewired the security station to 83273. I don't trust any of those bastards. So 83273. And here is our card we need to get. And at the same time, here is a new thing that we technically are able to hack. This is a high security crate and you need a hack skill of six to actually get into it. Now, there aren't very many of those in the game. I think there's like a total of, uh, there's like a grand total of three or four. They're kind of negligible and the stuff they have isn't really more impressive than um, what you can normally find in a crate. Honestly, for a hack skill of six, they aren't that much of a reward. And it's weird because the hack skill is actually quite uh, valuable, especially if you use it to hack um, turrets and such. However, just be it's just simply not very practical to upgrade it unless you just want that extra chance of hacking something. Which is respectable, but at the same time it's kind of negligible. Especially for the cost you're paying for it. Yeah, so it seems like... Oh, man. Man, they did a number on the command deck. Everything is fucked up up here, man. So it seems like we're done up there. Let's just keep on our merry way. May as well do some searching around down here. I don't know if I got everything. The pool table in the middle of the floor. Hmm. Hello. Right. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, this is actually pretty terrifying. I don't have my armor on me right now. Oh god. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, this sucks, man. Uh... 
fun fact, this is part of why um, the energy weapons run tends to get a little difficult by uh, endgame, because recharging stations are very uncommon um, on some of the later sta stages of the deck. There's not a single one on this particular floor, so it's a good thing we just found the quantum bio reconstruction unit, or else uh, death would have been meaning that we would have had to have reloaded a save, and especially since I'm not safe scumming like I normally do, I would have had to re have redone all that shit, and that would not have been fun. Seems like there's stuff up there too. Just another instance of where something that was clearly meant for um, Psy operatives only, you can just kind of jump up and get. You can also get up there with some creative mantling as well, so I don't know. Probably one of my only, like, gripes with this in Shock 2 is when you really learn the mechanics of the game, you can kind of see that the skills are somewhat unbalanced, and it's regrettable, but at the same time, System Shock 2 was one of the first games to have tried that, and I know it's technically not a defense in the game, but at the same time, it's, I have a really hard time faulting such a, like, a uh, creative game for thinking ahead of its time, really. Anyway, let's continue on. Oh, there's some... Wait, what? Oh god. Rebecca, we're out of time. What's going on? Okay, you can fuck off. Wait, wait, wait. Don't just leave me here. Shit. Guys? Ah! Ah! Oh. oh, fuck. Well, Godspeed, that was Rebecca and Tommy. It seems like the Von Braun will have survivors, at the very least. Maybe love always does win, right? They loved each other so much they were able to survive this hell in space. That's kind of sweet, honestly. Like, I'm not typically a romantic, right? I mean, I, I, I am in the right context, so I don't really want to get into it. But, there's just something oddly wholesome about that concept. And, on the topic of wholesomeness, we have another French Epstein device, so let's go ahead and plug it into our favorite little boy right here. Now, our viral proliferator is mod mod level 2. That's quite good. Right. So, we can't even maintain our EMP rifle yet. But, speaking of maintenance, let's just go ahead and plug our backup implants in. You know, if this were Ponterby, Ponterby Station, the uh, fan mission, it'd be pretty great because I would have a backup suit of power armor. And now I don't, and I feel really naked without it. I'm very grateful that um, there's at least two separate wear mind implants I can equip, though, because that's probably going to get us through... Oh, fuck off. Yeah, that's going to get us to the next recharge station. Looks like we have a log from uh, Tommy as well. Let's see what he had to say. Getting the escape pod working again wasn't as easy as we thought. Beck had to go back down to engineering. Thank God somebody managed to get the elevators turned on again. I found the bridge key and performed an override on the access protocols. And now I think we're ready to go. Sweet. So, God bless you, Tommy. You and your girl made it off. You, you, you've served me well. Transmitting cybernetic modules. Hopefully that'll be us soon enough, but we do have some unfinished business to take care of. Starting with you. Yeah, the EMP rifle is a nice spammy weapon to take care of those guys. And it seems like they realize that, because there's just an EMP rifle sitting back here. I always just thought that was really cool. And here we are about to have a new enemy type. 
and it's a doozy. Yeah, that's not a slug turret, even though it might seem similar. <laughs> yeah, that's a rocket turret. Uh, it's quite aptly named. It shoot, uh, it shot a fucking rocket at us, and now we're dead. That's fun. That's what I get for trying to fucking demo. Oh, you're kidding me. I think the more I play this game, the more I just lose any credibility I had about this game. Holy fuck, that was... I can't even really come up with an excuse for that. That was just a fail. Oh, man. I hope this is at least entertaining to watch, right? Like, I feel like I get rambly. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. I don't even really have anything to, like, follow up that, follow that up with. That's just... Wow. Like, I'm impressing myself with this kind of stuff. Oh, and I have to wait for the thing to come back down and basically fucking squish me. Yeah, come on. I swear, if this fucking kills me somehow... Okay. Wait for the weird delay. Uh, no. Let's go. Yeah. You know, the more I think about it, the more I think I just think it's about time to ditch the laser rapier. I'm not using it at all since I got the crystal shard. I heard some voices. Oh yeah, it's just the um turret. So I'm gonna start to assassin. So fuck you. Bitch. And then these turrets don't even have the like you know decency to drop anything useful. They don't drop grenades, they don't drop anything. They're just dickheads, man. Like full stop. And this is always kind of funny. This is probably one of the most important rooms of the Von Braun, and it's just, rep rep it's just represented by a freaking, like, cube. Cube, ruler of the multiverse or something like that. My friends mean that all the time, and I don't fucking know. Oh, and there's another one over there. And of course, hitboxes, ho! Thank you. Thank you for finally dying. Man. This, you know, this room has always kind of reminded me one of one, the one, of the one in recreation. There we go. Get the words out, Walter. And so, yeah. Now that we fought through all that shit, we have what we came here for. This particular, uh, Card. I am pleased. Transmitting cybernetic modules. Do not squander them. Squander them. Right. So we are officially done with um, the deck for now. So let's go back and go back to ops, I guess, now. Because that is what we must do now. So on our way back to Ops, I will most definitely be getting the audio lag that we meant to get the first time around. And for this next part, I'm actually going to have the uh, Viral Proliferator equipped because, uh, yeah, it's not going to be pretty, especially with me. You know what? Nobody cares about you, you're just a fucking spider. You know, some people are deathly terrified of the spiders in this game, and... Like... I'm terrified of them, but for an entirely different reason, which we'll get to a little later, but... I mean, it's just a spooky spider, man. I mean, it's not really the visuals that get to me about the spider. 
I don't know. Like, I, I'm kind of afraid of specific shit. Like, I've never been much afraid of spiders, but beetles kind of get to me, for example. I don't like beetles. They kind of gross me out for some reason. Speak of the devil, there's some spiders. Yeah, this spider itch has got to go. Anyway. Finally, we have our armor back. That's such a nice feeling. We can survive hits again. And now there's a hybrid. That was probably up there, so there's really no need to be too worried for now. So yeah, this is the backtracking, basically. Oh, here's the hybrid. Ow, bitch. Ow. Oh my goodness. Never mind. Yikes. Okay, that was kind of annoying. I guess I should probably start u be using my med kits. Med I don't think I've really explained the difference between the med, like the med kits and the med hypos. The med hypos uh, heal less damage over time. Basically, the med kits are a stronger version of the med hypos, but the difference is, um, med kits tend to be more crucial on higher difficulties, where um, that extra health matters a lot more. On impossible difficulty, since we aren't really going to get much higher than what we're at now, there's really... the only real difference is that they heal faster, which can be important, but not super duper, old, like, uber important. So, yeah, like I said, let's get our viral proliferator equipment, let's head down to Ops, because that's the next place we need to go. Oh man. This is going to be fun. Yeah, they have left a couple of nasty surprises for us on our backtracking and yeah, let's just say I'm not really looking forward to it. Man, I don't know. This game still gets to me. Okay. Yeah, my co my con commentary suddenly stopping. That should really kind of indicate something. Oh god! Nasty surprises, indeed. Oh man. Also, yeah. One of the best things about our um, new toy here, getting my level two, is that now only consumes one worm cluster a shot. to the Rickenbacker. Proceed to the engine core on the engineering deck. There you can set the core overload to my control by, 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 by entering the authorized destruct code 94834. Once you have done that, we may proceed to the Rickenbacker. Separate. Separate the two ships and exterminate this infestation. Right, so we're heading back to engineering for yet another tax. But before I do that, I'm trying to find the freaking um, log that I missed. I don't know why it's not showing up here. I don't know. It's one of the best logs in the game and I'm just not seeing it right now, excuse me? I swear it's in this room. I don't know, man. I mean, I guess clearly not, but, hmm. Oh god! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, he's right there. Mmm, this is what I was afraid of. Oh god.
Hmm. Well, I guess we're gonna... Oh, there's two of them! What? Jesus Christ. Oh, God. There's a spider, too. Like, really? Oh, yeah, and that, uh... Shit's still alive for some reason. Oh, God. Rumblers, man. I don't like them. Huh, it looks like... Oh, wow, that's evil. I thought I looted his body. That's That would explain a lot as to why I wasn't finding it earlier. Oh, man. Well, I will play that here in a bit. I just want to make sure I vacated this fucking deck. Oh, God. Now that I've had a veritable heart attack, I mean, holy crap. I think there's going to be even another one. No, thankfully. There's a monkey. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, rumblers. Not my thing. I mean, yes, kind of, because, you know, they're part of why I love this game's horror. But... Oh... Rumblers, man. Okay, so we have some hybrids. You guys aren't shit, honestly. Oh, man. Yeah, sorry if I'm not talking so much all of a sudden. I just got the shit skit out of me and like I said we're not done there's gonna be more nasties left over here oh god really yeah freaking assassins man I'm like getting popped this playthrough Like, honestly, it is kind of embarrassing. I talk so much shit about me knowing this game so well, and now I'm just dying over and over again. Oh, man. I guess it, I guess it, I'm not too upset about it. It's making it more entertaining. But at the same time, you know, it's like... I don't normally get shit on this much, honestly. <laughs> then again, I typically use, like, you know, the same shit everybody always does, right? Oh yeah, and we kill, we can two-shot the- oh my god. Yeah, see, I don't get cornered like that normally. Oh god! Oh! Oh! Wow, and now there's a rumbler there too. Oh, oh god. This is the part of the game where I'd love to have a fucking grenade launcher just to blow that shit up. Oh man. It'd be nice if I could get just just get through the fucking door, but I'm not able to do that now apparently. Yeah, cyborg assassins are just not an enemy I'm particularly fond of. Oh, this is fun. Oh, I'm still on analid mode, fuck. Yeah, on the plus side, we can really see our um fucking thing doing a number to him. Really? Are you guys throwing a fucking block party because you fucking tr thought you killed me? Well, guess what? The fucking quantum bio reconstructors exist. Fucking hell. Y'all better make sure I'm actually fucking gone for good before you do that kind of crap. Oh, come on. This is unnecessary, really. And we're not even done, like I mentioned. There's shit over there. I think. Normally there is. Seems like this time they might have, like... Nope. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh my... <laughs> Fuck. 
Ah, man. Are you kidding me? Is there another one over there? You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm checking this room. I don't trust you people. You have been like dickheads to me, like seriously. Okay. You know what? You know, I'm not even gonna bother trying to shoot him from the fucking balcony. That's gonna about end it about as well as I would expect. I can now destroy this infestation. Oh man. The many quake at my power. Glad they're at least doing that for one of us. You are an effective drone. Oh my god. Normally I take the cool kids way, but I guess this time I'm gonna take the fucking dead kids way. And I just use my bullets that are very rare against a fucking hybrid. Thank you, game. I don't trust this game right now, man. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh man. Okay, we're done with that shit. We're done with fucking engineering with all the nasty rumblers. We're done with the fucking dickhead cyborg assassins. We're done with fucking dying for now. Holy fuck, man. Oh. Yeah. Oh man, that was horrible. <laughs> God. That's not normally such a pain in the ass. What the hell was that? Like, very quickly, I, I stopped getting terrified of the fucking rumblers, and I just got irritated, man. Like, yikes. <laughs> oh, God. That's boating really well, because that's not even, like, one of the more difficult parts of the game. I'm not even, like, freaking... Jeez. At least it's over for now. And hey, we got some good action in the Vile Polyphor proliferator going on. That's not normally something we get to do. So, yeah. I think that's it for now, honestly. I think I'm going to save the next part of the um, deck for the next episode I do. So, that was an interesting episode. We cleared through command and then we got fucking clapped the entire time. That was fun, honestly. That was, like, very, very amusing. Uh, well, in the next episode, we will be finally finishing off the command deck and seeing what Shodan has waiting for us ahead. In any case, thank you again, guys, for watching. This is Walter Requiem, and thanks for tuning in.